This project is called the Waffle Weave. It is made with um, paper, and you can use paint, markers, crayons, colored pencils to do the artwork portion of the, of the um, project. This is an example of a perspective where you, you're stepping back and looking at the whole big picture. And then when you open it magically, you have another section on the inside, and this shows a close-up. So looking from one perspective and then another. It also is good with problem solution, which we will show you after I demonstrate how to make the book. The supplies you need for this project um, are a piece of 8.5 by 11 copy paper, a half sheet that you have cut in half, so into two and three quarter inch pieces, and we start by doing some folds. The folding we will do first is called a hot dog fold. That's the long way of the paper. We make one long crease and then we're going to fold it back and make a crease and then we're going to turn it over and fold it back. So that when okay, then we're going to open it up and do a hamburger fold which is the fatter side of the paper or the longer side and we will do the backward fan fold as well on both sides. Okay. Making sure that your the hand that is not going to cut is holding the folded paper at the bottom, you're going to cut on the three folds you made in the middle up to that first cross line, like this. And then you're going to open it up, and using your two strips, you'll be weaving in and out of your paper. Starting on one side, you're going to go over, under, over, under, and then the opposite, you'll start underneath with the second one. Okay, now you have your basic waffle weave. And you're going to fold it back again so that you have your W on the end. And if you bring it together, taking your two thumbs, you pull it apart, it exposes that inside section and then you simply pull the outside. Again, pulling it apart gently like this and then closing it like this. So this is an example of a um, book report Waffle Weave. The student has posed a question, what treasures um, did Gail find in the dollhouse? And we have a picture of the dollhouse on the front, the, the title of the book, and the author. And if you remember our special W, you open that up, and inside we will find that secret compartment that identifies those items which Gail found, including a ruby necklace, a sapphire, and ruby jewels, some notes, a chest, and a leather pouch. And then again, closing it up to bring it back to the front.